Welcome to another Otago Vaults career mode episode. It's going to be um, playing for pride in this one day cup. We just haven't hit our straps at all. We've had people coming and going in the Black Cap squad. And then it's been a bit of a battle, uh, to say the least, to get consistency in our um, form. So you guys were last here for that thrilling game um, in the primary final where Central Districts defeated us by one wicket. We bounced back. We beat Northern Districts by two wickets. Uh, we should have probably rolled them with uh, Savage and Johnson um, getting scores 80 off 90 for Savage, 48 off 45 for Johnson. Williams has got up top two for 40. Hall got a um, debut, uh, none for 31. Wasn't too bad, actually. Mark Adair, outstanding. Four for 44. Vulcher getting more opportunities. One for 50 was pretty economical. Bold to a really good plan. Muller, three for 58. In response, 224 for Aiden Response. Uh, Bruce 89 of 94 guided the chase 16 boundaries and Cox 44 of 42 4 for 37 for Savage 3 for 37 for Ferns and then we played the two games against Wellington they they outplayed us really in these two games Georgian 133 of 142 13 fours 3 sixes True Scott 74 of 87 7 fours 1 six Williams 3 for 65 3 for 45 for Adair uh, in the bowling performance and yeah the batting just wasn't up to it really like Kelly, uh, 93 off 92, 13 fours and 1 six. Foxcroft, 37 off 46 down below there, but um, not good enough. Smith, 3 for 36, CS, 3 for 40, as if we slumped to a 90 run defeat. And then to be knocked out of the competition, confirmed. Uh, Wellington, 296 for 8. Uh, I thought Muller bowled well, 3 for 50, 2 for 58 for Adair. But the pick of the bowlers was the all rounder in Ajit Afucha. He's, he's going he's, he's gonna to take a wee bit of time to develop this guy. I don't think his bowling is going to be um, extraordinary. Like, he's probably going to average around 45, 50 for his career. But if he can be economical, around five, five and a half per over, I'm happy with that. If he can pick up one or two fizz here and there, he's just doing his job, you know. And he's contributed a few runs here and there as well. Duffy had a pretty tough day at the office, so Williams for that matter. Uh, Georgian backing up his 100 in the last game, 77 of 105. Johnson, run ball 52. Dale Phillips, how have we missed him this season? He's been in brilliant form uh, for Wellington. Um, just, once again, he was asking for too much money, and we're going to be pretty disciplined with our um, money in this save. Um, with the uh, Nagaland uh, save file um, from last year, it was a disaster. Because I had too many youth players, and then they ended up wanting too much money, and then we had to um, allow the board to sign players. In response, Kelly, 69 of 80, 10 fours, 1 six. Fox, 95 of 110, his best innings to date. I'm really happy with that progress from him. And Muller, 44 of 41 um, at the end of the innings. And it just wasn't quite enough. Ben Sears, 3 for 47, 2 for 50 for Newton, 2 for 66 for Georgian. So you're playing for pride in this episode. Uh, let's make some interesting changes to our team. Before we start guys we just will update you on the development contracted players as well just to give you guys a bit of a heads up and um, just show you the progress of uh, some of our black caps and how they've been performing so Jacob Bickerton the young leg spinner technique coaching for over 127 days now he had a lean trot there of late but he was pretty economical to his credit and a 5 for 56 out of the blue so there is potential with this guy just got a Get him into some form for the seconds. Just keep him developing, and sure enough, you'll get an opportunity sooner or later. Uh, Trent Kitson, 19 years of age now. His form is starting to get a little bit better. 3 for 18, 3 for 27. Those are the two highlighted um, things there. He's been a lot better. Uh, True Scott um, will be the other guy we have a look at. Just had been a bit of a um, nothing season for him so far, but that's okay. He's still in development. There, but yeah, our team today Rutherford Cooper, Kelly Bruce, Cox, Fenellan, Fulcher gets another shot. Daryl Mitchell win for Markadier. Markadier is just going to get a bit of a rest for the Plunkett Shield. Uh, Jacob Duffy, Williams, and Hall will be getting his second match here. So the conditions are absolutely awful. Uh, so it's going to be rain reduced. So it's going to be interesting to see how this game pans out. In this episode today, another win would be good for the season, uh, just to be around about where we were last season. We will want to chase in these conditions. Probably the rain's going to really hinder this match. 5 hour and 10 hour delay, so it's a 2020 game, effectively. So let's see what will happen here. I think we've got the field restrictions uh, there still. 8 off the first over. 
charge for a bit of revenge against these guys, but at the end of the day, fern restrictions have ended, so we can bring the field out immediately. I'm going to bring the young fella in early. He's going to be under a bit of pressure. So we've just got to give him a bit of faith in the field. And I've just got to look to see when we can put out the fifth fielder as well. Bold beauty from the first. Um, well, the last game he played, Young Hall into the attack. Chance of Terry Hall again. 36, for si 36 without loss after six. Containing them all right, uh, Fulcher, he'll continue to bowl. He hasn't bowled too badly. He's gone for 11 off the over, but he's fin we've finally got the wicket. Um, McRory is out uh, for 34. He's been around the scene a wee while, but he hasn't had too many opportunities for them. All out of the attack. Uh, one for 19 off three is pretty good bowling. Daryl Mitchell. And I'm really happy with all rounders. We've got two, like Mitchell and um, Adair. They've been around the scene a lot. And they do contribute handy things um, to the team. So Mitchell picks up a handy wicket. Central District 67 for 2 now after 10. We've got both openers out. I'm going to bowl the spinner out. 76 for 2 after 11. It is 9 off the over. 1 for 28. Not too bad for Fulcher. Not too bad at all. Uh, Mitchell's bowl quite good. Jacob Duffy into the attack now, just as we try to contain them. I'm just going to ch keep checking those fields. As soon as those 24 and 25th fields are available, we can get the 5th man out. It's bowling in the same length as well. Just It has been working relatively well for us. And it's a good delivery from Jacob Duffy. It's another wicket. It was a very impressive season. So Colson in with Clarkson. Mitchell, he was up, got up to this point, and it's just been a wee bit expensive this over, but he gets another wicket, just keeping Central Districts um, relatively quiet uh, here. Duffy, three overs, one for 25. We're going to bring the young two in, which are uh, Hall and uh, Williams. Three overs, none for 21 for Hall. He hasn't bowled too badly, considering um, the different um, climax of this game. So Williams to Clarkson. Williams gets another wicket. Just a good delivery from Williams. Bold needs to out. Good over from Hall. Not bad spells. One for 33 Williams is a wee bit expensive in that over. 138 for five Central Districts. The field will go out now. Jacob Duffy. It's a key wicket of uh, Doug Bracewell. For 11. And Jacob Duffy just continuing on his fantastic season. Hopefully he gets another call up to the Black Caps and gets another opportunity. He's been in good form this season. And Mitchell, um, probably the pick of the bowlers today. 2 for 25. It's Daryl Mitchell. He's got a key wicket. It's just containing the Central District side in this re rain-reduced game. Daryl Mitchell is having a really good day at the office. He's on a hat trick. Can Daryl pick one up? Can he get a fifer? He deserves a fifer. He's bowled exceptionally. And he does. Daryl Mitchell is best bowling performance of the season. An all-time record against Central District. So congratulations to Mitchell there. Didn't really get away from us. Uh, five for 27. That is his first five wicket bag. Jacob Duffy, three for 31. As you can see, Jacob Duffy's had a really good year. That is his best numbers under our um, management. And yeah, um, Fulcher was good, one for 28. Hall was pretty economical. Williams was a wee bit expensive today, but that's okay. We're giving ourselves a shot of winning this rain reduced game. Hopefully, we can get um, the amount of overs we need in. Well, we need to bat them all to get the result. And more importantly, get ourselves off the bottom of the ladder. It unfortunately doesn't suit um, Henry Cooper, uh, this sort of um, uh, game. He hasn't got a very high T20 average. It's a bit of a um, miscue. Out for five. Cooper's out two. He's out for six. So we've just lost our way a little bit. Nick Kelly's been in brilliant form at the moment. Hopefully that continues. 
matured um, this season, uh, Nick Kelly. He's 30 years of age. He'll, he'll be around another four or five seasons. I'm going to keep signing him up. You've got to have that experience around the youth players that we're trying to build. Uh, the, the seamers are going to be pretty, pretty interesting. We're going to have to start introducing maybe the Kitsons and the uh, True Scots. The Bickertons, maybe next season, just depending on if they can get some consistency. If we can juice maybe one or two of them to um, get those guys a bit of experience. Good shots from uh, Kelly. 39 for 2 after 6. Kelly's just 19 of 20 at the moment. He's skied one though, and that is out. Techno's got the wicket and it brings young Jeffrey Cox to the crease. Got that very good 95. Uh, he really needed that for his confidence. He had just been struggling a bit. Bit of a um, controlled edge shot, if you'd say, before. 49 for 3. It's good shots. Four more for uh, Cox. Good shot from Bruce. It's gone for four. Oh, that's out. Good say. Yeah, good catch. Bracewell's got the key wicket of Tom Bruce. He's gone for 19. Brings Finn Allen to the crease. It's Finn Allen will be trying to um, just get a wee bit of form back. He's just been out of touch of late, but he's classy. If he gets going, it's going to be very, very exciting for us. 69 for four, Otago. Chasing uh, around a... Probably a... Round of par score, just above par, you'd say. Just due to the conditions. Good shot, that is four more. Game is relatively poised. Did bowl well, considering it was a 20 over reduced game. Ben Meal has bowled well in his spell. He's got to deal with it. Five off the over, 86 for four, Otago. Trying to mount a challenge to this. 20 off 10 for Allen. Uh, 17 off 13 Cox. It's a good shot. Full toss. Gone. That's six. Good shot. 92 for four. And back to back sixes. This is good stuff from Cox. Got a big over. Just avoids the diving keeper from Finn out its point, point of view. Brings up the 100 though. 100 for 4 after 13. 47 runs required at 6.7. And that man again, Bracewell. He just continues to plug away, gets the key wickets. Brings young um, Ajit Fucha to the crease. It's a good over too from Doug Bracewell. It's put the pressure squarely back on Otago. And the young all-rounder have to contribute a few runs. He has, like I said, good with the ball today. He's just working it round. A couple of nice boundaries. Start off his innings. 111 for 5 after 15. 36 runs needed at 7.2. Doug Brace will 2 for 12 off his um, 2 over so far. Good shot from Cox. 29 off 24. Oh, that's a key wicket. Cox is gone. He needed to guide the team home there. Daryl Mitchell. His experience. Can his experience guide the team home? It's a good shot again from uh, Vulture. Gets it away for four. Oh, beautiful delivery from Lennox. He'll pick up the wicket of Vulture. His career's been quite interesting, Jaden Lennox. Uh, just solid numbers in the 20 over stuff in the first class scene. Teach out. Um, need Daryl Mitchell to go big here, I think. Need a couple of boundaries off this over if we can. 21 off 12. I think Daryl Mitchell will have to be the key man here. He's going to have to belt a few. Good from Jacob Duffy. He's controlled that well enough to get another boundary. It's getting us within range. 10 off 6 required. Daryl Mitchell has to take the game home, and he doesn't do it. So that's a pretty weird way to finish the game. Only one run off the over. Doug Brace was this exceptional. A bit gutted about that, actually. I would have rather have seen highlights to see if we could take it down to the wire. And that's unfortunately another loss uh, for the Otago uh, team. Because we're not going to finish 
um, above Central Districts. Nothing riding on this next game. It may be a chance for some new players to come in. We'll just make that call as we go along. So Sutherland and Foxcroft have returned back from international duty. We were going to give you a Fred update probably at the end of the episode. Did he score there? You did. He got a handy little 45. Uh, that's not Aaron Williams. That's Sean Williams. Foxcroft only scored 7. But you're good from Fred Sutherland. He's got a decent 20 over average at the moment. Good to have him back. Um, we will be definitely making changes to this team, guys. We'll be back shortly. Rightio, with the two players back from um, international duty here, um, we've got Sutherland and Foxcroft immediately back into the team. Um, those are the two changes, really. Um, Daryl Mitchell has been replaced, and pretty much... Uh, yeah, who, who does Sutherland replace? Tom Bruce. Smooth Cox up to four, Sutherland at five. That's Sutherland's position. He is a bit fatigued. Um, Sutherland's obviously come back from international duty. But yeah, it'd be good to see him get a few runs again. Uh, yeah, pretty experienced team. Let's see how we go. Um, just the current year, just to sum up things. The two openers haven't had a good year. Kelly's had a good year. Cox, yeah, there's room for improvement here. And Hall possibly will get another opportunity. We could bring them for Muller in. That'll be the other change that it makes. So Muller will go up to there. And that's our team uh, for today. Uh, hey, I'm just going to make sure Hall is playing crickets. So, yeah, just want to finish the season off strongly. Look at that bowling attack. Archer, Jamison, and Ferguson. I'd love to have a pace unit like that. That would be really, really good. So, the two out of form batsmen at the top of the order probably hasn't helped this season. Uh, for the one-day cup at the very least. Rutherford has gone for five. Brings uh, Kelly to the crease. So, his disappointing campaign finishes. Henry Cooper. Want to get some runs before the Plunkett Shield starts. Good solid start here. It's a good bit of swing there for um, Kyle Jamison. Kelly, he's been one of the um, players of the season. Just consistent over all the formats. It's Cooper just starting off pretty well today. Love to get his average up before the um, season ends. Only averaging, was it 14 or something like that? Still, I think um, Cooper and Rutherford are still handy enough at the top of the order. No need to panic by or anything. Just got to make sure we breed the right players into our um, program. Yeah, Cooper got a good start. 27-23 be kicking himself. That is the sort of start you want to kick on from. Cox, lovely shots. And it's good to see um, Cox start to develop into a um, good solid batsman for us too. We slowly need to replace some of the um, senior men in the team. They'll still hang around, obviously, cause still provide us um, some valuable um, some valuable stuff at the top of the order and the mid order, of course. Lovely shot from Cox again, but he's taken on the fielder and he's dismissed. So that is out for twenty nine of thirty one. Look, do it again. Brings uh, Fred Suttle into the crease. Fred's going to have a go. He's going to take on the bowling. It's Kelly's just trying to get himself in. He's sort of struggling at the moment. But if Fred Suttle can get going, it just makes it a lot easier for Kelly. So 90 for 3 after 19. Oh, this is not... This is pretty much a batsman struggling. It's 18 off 49. Six for three now. Let's play some misses. Oh boy, 20 off 60 deliveries. You have to pick it up a wee bit, um, Kelly. Can't panic though. Just if you can get the strike rate over the course of time. If he's 65 off 100, I don't mind. He's trying to stay in for the side. 108 for three after 24 overs. It is pretty much. Just a stagnant run rate at the moment. You feel Auckland are in control of this game. Oh, bit of an edge off the bats. Kelly's been a bit streaky today. Still there. Providing support. And finally hits one clean off the bat. That's four. 
32 71 three boundaries 22 off 23 for Sutherland Michael rip on is the attack oh look at that lovely little spin from uh, rip on Sutherland playing to missing 25 for 29 himself this trying to see off these overs of Archer and uh, Jamison in particular and Ferguson for that matter it's a good couple of shots from our uh, Sutherland Moves to 35 or 33. Can be 37 up 83. Just um, at all sorts of trouble today. Just love him to score a few more runs. 42 off 91. It's just not been his day, but he's staying in there for his side as we try to get that rate over 5 and over. And his innings has come to an end. 46 of 95. It's just not the things that I was after. But he, he built a partnership anyway. Like, he's contributed with Sutherland. And he's tried to put our team into a good position. Arbor Abe now. So unfortunately, he's gone cheaply. Two quick wickets. Brings Foxcroft and Sutherland together. Foxcroft's been a little bit better for us this season. We're getting a little bit more value with him out of the bat. Like, uh, just slowly, gradually improving those numbers. Uh, the current year for him, it's not bad. It's respectful, anyway. I'm quite happy with that. He's gone, though, now, and it's 167 for six. It brings young Ajit a future to the crease. Bat alongside Sutherland, and he hasn't lasted that long either. So Fred is under pressure again, and it, the Tiger side are not doing him any favours. By not hanging around. He may just have to hit out and hope we get a few off the middle. It's a six. Did this they did this to him last time. He got us out of a hole in the T twenty game. Back to back sixes, that's fifty for Fred. Might pick his moments here. It's no ball. 189 for 7. Rip on going round the wickets. Interesting tactic to Fred. It has worked. He's got the wickets. Sutherland gone for 54 or 59. Four fours, three sixes. Just put too much pressure on him. Like, there's no one hanging around with him, and we're just limping towards um, what will be probably another defeat, unless Muller can get a few. To get 44 in a game earlier in the season. 197 for 8. Important to bat as many of these overs out if we can. Duffy can bat a little bit. He's got a couple of 50s at first class level. Shot from Muller again. 202 for 8. Just survives there, Jacob Duffy. Gets a good bit of a roll on there. Um, that goes for 4. 216 for 8 now. It's a good handy partnership. It's just... Giving them something to bowl to. It's advantage Auckland at the moment. If we can get to 240 somehow, would be really good. Rip on. Another wicket for him. 3 for 32. Good day at the office for him. Good shot from Williams. It's gone for 4. 225 for 9. Another boundary. Last couple of partnerships have been handy for Otago. Six overs the bats. And that is that. 231 all outs. Yeah, just a lot of starts in that Cooper, Kelly, Cox, and Sutherland. No one kicked on, unfortunately. Um, Fred had to hit out um, just because A, Foxcroft, and Fulcher didn't get too many. It's Henry Wellington. 339 for six. Ravindra with a massive score. Central Districts, 329. Bolt, six for 60. Is his best figure? No, it's not, amazingly. So Williams just going to get in the right areas. Uh, just would love to finish the campaign off strongly along with uh, Duffy. Just good lines and areas from Duffy. Gets the wicket of Will O'Donnell for 15. Will O'Donnell's played quite a bit for the um, Black Caps now. Obviously he want to improve his test career, but his one day international career is not too bad. 37 for 1 after 10. Williams being quite economical. Spin. Got two spinners today. 
uh, this will be interesting. Um, Vulture. Just want to get a wee bit of confidence with his bowling. Foxcrop just trying to vary it up. We've got a few spinners in the ranks now, like we've got Vulture and uh, Bickerton obviously this season. Vulture's just more ready than, than Bickerton at the moment. Bickerton, um, as you guys can see, is getting like a like a fifer or a fourfer, and then it's just heaps of none or one wicket bags. Okay, out the attack there. Duffy back in. 99 for one, uh, Auckland. Pretty comfortable at the moment, you'd have to say. Williams will come around the wicket here, and we are going to bowl um, back of a length, change it up a wee bit. Same for Duffy as well. Just got to change our tactics. It's really comfortable for the um, side at the moment. 59 for Williams and O'Donnell. Bring in the to the attack. Uh, Muller. Travis Muller. I just want to see his year. I don't think he's had much of a year. Yeah, he's, he had a decent 20 over campaign. It was one day campaign not too good. But it's okay on the Plunkett Shield so far. Williams will bowl out. 168 for one. Now we'll come 168 for two as Glenn Phillips has trapped LBW for 75. Bowling of Muller. Um, young Foxcroft um, into the attack. Three men on the leg side. Spinners are bowled pretty tidily today, you'd have to say. been a little bit expensive. 228 for two. Auckland have coasted to this game here. O'Donnell finishes that off with a six and brings up his hundred in the process. Brilliant innings from Robbie O'Donnell. Just controlled the game from start to finish and finishes with his third hundred. We just never looked likely in that game. Williams bowled okay. None for 42. Um, none for 55 for Fulcher. Uh, pretty tough last couple of overs for him. Another wee learning curve. And yeah, that brings a wrap to the uh, season. And unfortunately, it wasn't a good year for us. Two wins and eight losses. Um, eight points. We're kind of miles off the pace in this. Now we're into the um, Plunkett Shield. Where you guys will join us um, very shortly, actually. Because we have not had um, an episode where we've played four-day cricket yet. You guys will be here for the Central Districts game. So we're only going to play the Wellington game in between. And we'll see how we go from there. Once again, guys, keep joining the Discord. Um, if you're keen on um, any cricket action around the world. We are going to try and get that set up. Just want a few guys that can come in and moderate that part of the um, that part of the Discord, if possible, and just put threads in, even if there's not much um, going on at the moment. I want that to get more active. But for now, share the um, video, like the video, comment on it, and we'll see you next time.